special version of Hot Top with the homie dress. Yo, stop picking on me, son. <laughs> the most throwback hip hop at night. It's The Basement, hosted by Tifa, only on 106.3. But we beat pop, give me a picture, ain't do. Hip hop royalty. How does it feel being hip hop royalty? You know, and having music that still resonates and plays almost 20 years later in the game. Um. Wow. Like it's it's definitely humbling. You know what I'm saying? Definitely humbling. I'm um, very grateful. Big shout out to every DJ globally that ever showed us love. Sincerely, thank you, and that continue to show us love. You know what I'm saying? Like you at the ratchet parties too, like. Oh yeah, I do it more. <laughs> I, I do it more. That's the goal. You know what I'm saying? To, to make music that's universal in, in scope. You know what I'm saying? And Absolutely. hopefully that has a little bit of longevity and some legs. I'll always, you know, always looking to be a better businessman, I guess, because you know when we were coming through, you know, like we be, a lot of us were the guinea pigs for corporate structure that exists or the lack of corporate structure that exists. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a, there's a lot of things that, you know, that we had to walk through so that the kids could get a dollar today. You know, we had to deal with a quarter. You know what I'm saying? And so, as, as an older artist, I'm definitely trying to become a better business, you know what I'm saying, man, and understanding what branding is and things, things of that nature at this point. But the music, to me, always comes first. You know what I'm saying? And I hope that people always get that from me. I love that. And I'm curious if, um Hip hop artists today have that same perspective. I wonder what's your perspective on hip hop artists today and hip hop music today? Um, I'm seeing some good things happening right now, you know what I'm saying, to be honest with you, and, and, and I'm embracing it and definitely trying to big up any kid that I see trying to do it correctly. You know what I'm saying? Joey Badasses, the Kooji Mims, yeah. you know what I'm saying? The, the, you know what I'm saying? The lyricists out there, the J. Coles, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They're out there, you know, and even cats that you might not have heard of yet, you know, the Tough Junkie, Peyton Locke, you know what I'm saying? Um, there's kids that are, that are coming that, that, that speak to all walk. Okay. What's important is that when, that they don't get discouraged because of the semantics of the game. We need our voices. So when you when you hear a voice, support a voice. Make sure you support a voice. You know that dumb stuff. That's gonna be what that is, and that's going and and that's found a way to live on its own. Cool. It's all right. It, it really has. It really has. It just wasn't in the forefront. It was just part of the scenery. And and I even question, you know, the business structure that would make it cool to become a millionaire off of the backs of the support and leave the community with that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, it, that's for a reason. Like, you know, like, like you were chosen, and it's much bigger than you leaving. It's almost, you know, they say the, the rap game's like the crack game. And, you know, the crack game saw individuals sacrifice the community so they were all right. It's the same shit in rap. You know what I'm saying? Cats will sacrifice the community so that they're all right. And by the time we wake up to the ramifications of it, it's well down the road, you know, like we had to go through all, all the errors to see what happened. Mm -hmm. If rap is like crack, then we already know what happens. Let's do something different. You know what I'm saying? Let's do something different. What's your most memorable experience from your work in hip hop? To me, the things that stand out as really memorable in my, you know, in my mental memoirs are the times when I'm like on a track with other people. Like, you know, like a Flavor Unit or a Legion or, a, you know, like, like whatever track it was with, where I'm with other people because it brings about a whole dynamic as MCs that you kind of step into a scenario and you just want, want to be able to, you just want to be able to stand out amongst whoever the company is. You want the respect of the company, but you want the respect of people beyond the company. And it just creates a tone as an MC where you really kind of push yourself to, to 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 make it right, you know what I'm saying, to make it right. I, I know, but tell the people what you're working on next. And we saw you posted a, a picture on Instagram with Primo. Yeah, some cool stuff is definitely, I, I planted some really cool seeds, you know what I'm saying, and I'm hoping some beautiful flowers come up this summer. You know what I'm saying? Um, well, I've done a project with Jerobi from A Tribe Called Quest. We formed a duo called Evertan. 
Avatan is native spelled backwards. This is something that everybody needs, especially if you, really? if, you, if, you, if you're from the era, you have to own this album. The album is so dope, it's so dope. And I'm so proud of Jerobi. Like, Jerobi's the one from Tribe that you never heard rhyme. Me and him did a whole album together. Yeah, woofing on the tracks. Yo, he, All the time. I he, love it. he kills it. So when does, when does that come out? <laughs> um, that's out, that's out. Pick it up. Like, really? It's one of hip hop's best kept secrets right now. Where can we get it? It's online. Check it out online, iTunes, wherever you buy music online, Amazon, wherever you buy music online, check out Evertan, native spelled backwards, which is Black Sheep Dress and Jerobi from Tribe.